Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, the Ultra Print 12K, a 10.1 inch new Kickstarter. Before we get started, roll those credits and a word from our sponsor. PCBWay are proud sponsors of the channel. They offer industry-leading 3D printing services covering all types of materials and processes. They also offer industry-leading online CNC machine services from milling, machining, and turning in all the materials you could possibly need. They also offer a fully online prototyping PCB service. Everything from assembly through to design, you can do it all online with an easy system to use for quality. So for all of your needs, check out PCB Way in the link in the video description. So, UltraPrint. UltraPrint is a new Kickstarter that has come along. Um, they have two machines. They have a 10.1 inch 12K, which is what this machine is, and they have a 16 inch 8K printer. The 16 inch is not 12K. I want to be really clear about that. Uh, they've sent us this one to review. I want to be clear about a couple of things. So first and foremost, we were sent this machine to review. However, we were not paid to do the review. They have no editorial rights. And ultimately, this is the honest opinions of this channel as to what we have and what we think of this machine. However, we do get to keep the machine when this review is done. So transparency there. Next, we obviously have to say something about Kickstarter. Kickstarter is in and of itself a campaign platform that comes with risk. You need to make the decision about whether or not you do it. There is a reality that Kickstarter as a platform does not have the same consumer rights as you going and buying something. So make your choices accordingly. There have been a flurry of Kickstarters that have come about recently with Apex and Galaxy and Emake and a few others as well. Um, and this is the latest in those, in, in those challenges coming to the space. So this video is just going to be an unboxing of this machine. So you can take a look at it. Caveat to this, what we have here is a pre-production version sent to us. There may very well be changes and revisions before we get to um, before we get to shipping them out. And there will be some things on the machine that as yet may not be polished, may not be finalized, may not be finished. So with that, let's get this bad boy open. We start with a big knife. So these guys are fairly new on the scene and we just need to this came from dhl it's not a horrendously heavy parcel and um, fits through normal doors this is really the challenger to there we go do the sides come off they do not okay fine i'm gonna have to pop this on the floor and then bring things out on the desk one moment Oh, this is a challenger to Elegoo's Saturn 12K. However, this claims to print faster due to a different UV light source that it's using. Um, you do get some spare ACF film in the box, so that's nice and useful. Then we have power supplies. So we, for once we actually have a UK kettle cord, so that's pleasant. And a 24 volt power supply there as well. We have the accessory box, fairly normal stuff. So we've got our gloves and we've got some filters. When we have this will be the rubber cap for the resin reclaim that, uh, that this does. This has both resin top up and resin reclaim in it as well. And I think this is designed to be pretty universal. So it just sits on top of whatever bottle you have. There's no seal or screw or anything like that. So uh, you get a bit more flexibility with the types of bottles. So if I show you, we've got a Yayo bottle here that will fit rather nicely over the cap if you wanted to put it over the cap or it will fit directly over the bottle. This is the same bottle you'd get with Sunlu. Uh, we've also got some cool Seager resin there. Again, it will sit on there pretty 
pretty fine. Um, I mean, I will say that it doesn't screw on. So I guess your choice would be whether or not to put this over an existing cap and then drill a hole in the cap or drill two holes in the cap so that you could um, so you could use it a little bit more reliably. But there you go, you got that. So yeah, due to a more powerful UV light source, they're claiming to print a little bit faster than, uh, than the satins. We've got a little bag of screws. We've got some more spare screws. There'll be some spare vat screws. Wi-Fi antenna, the machine does have Wi-Fi. A little bit of sandpaper for sanding your build plate. A spatula, a plastic spatula, and a USB key. Nothing particularly exciting there. We have the resin. All oh, right, this is the UV light bar. We'll take a look at that in a minute. We've got resin. This is high precision resin is what it's listed as. So I would say this is sort of the equivalent of 8K resin. So I've got three bottles there. Right, and then we get to the printer. Let's get the sides out. It's pretty well boxed in this. Again, I wanna be clear, the machine and box that we have are prototypes effectively, they're pre-production models. So the way this has been shipped is not necessarily indicative of how it will be shipped when we move, uh, when, we, when they actually go to full production. So, there we go. Machine comes up, saran wrapped, obviously. Just get all of this off. So the machine's got a lot of really nice features. It's got the auto resin reclaim. Uh, it's got the, uh, it has got a vat heater. That heater is on the back. It has an up and over design on the hot, on the, on the hood. Got a bit more packaging there. Managed to miss the massive box. Well done me. Build plate, pretty standard. Right, this is where we get a little bit interesting and it comes in to where, um, to where this comes in as well. This here, the top piece is the, uh, is the rotating base plate for when you are curing models. And I love the way that this attaches. So let's do a little bit uh, of a close up and you can take a look at how this works. Right, so this is the base plate here. You've got the, uh, you've got the rotating pad on the inside. You've then mounts that directly over. There's no seal, but ultimately it's gonna, get, it's gonna keep the resin vat completely covered when you're doing this. And then we look at how this is powered. So there is a little magnetic switch with two push pins here, and they plug into here along with this, uh, this for the, let's just clip this, take off the cable ties, along with the UV light source. So let's just show you how this works. So, so you can see here, you've got these two little connectors and you have these push pins and they are magnetic and they literally snap right on. If you try to do them the wrong way, they are polarized so they won't go on. So you can't do your positive negative around the wrong way. So they go on like that. And then the back of this is magnetic and just fits like that. Exactly the same on the back of this as well. Just get it close and then it snaps in. You can see that, I'm not even touching it and it is, I need to look at it, but there you go. Really, really nice design, really clever, really intuitive. Then that goes on, your model goes on here Model goes on top on the rotating plate. This UV light source then turns on. That's what cures it. This will obviously be out of the way at that point because it will have, uh, you'll have, you'll have honed that to the top. So 
that's everything you get in the box. We're going to be doing a review, but we want to play about with this for a week or so before we uh, before we start showing up reviews and things like that. We will be in the Facebook group, which we'll put a link to in the video description. So feel free to go and register for that Facebook group. Keep an eye out for posts, videos, whatever it is we're doing. But ultimately, it's a nice package. I like the way that it's built. I like the way it's put together. I'm not a huge lover of how this cap goes on. Um, but, uh, but right now, it's doing exactly what I would expect. It comes with everything I would expect. So, uh, so stay tuned for the actual review video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and catch you on the next one.